What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for witches, wizards, magic, wizard world? That's the question. Do you nerd? Do you nerd? Do you nerd? If we like it, we nerd it. Yes, do you nerd for Hogwarts, even if they still won't quit itching? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? What's up? It's on time. What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They've been getting better about these coming in on yes. time. This is not a monthly box, correct? Nope, it is a bi-monthly. And by bi-monthly, you mean every, every other, other month. month, not twice a month. Correct. Anyway, <laughs> what is the theme this time around? <laughs> This time it is nobody's perfect. Nobody's nerfing. <laughs> Manage your mischief. Celebrate wizarding pranks and rule breaking with this wizarding world crate. Oh, there's going to be some Weasley stuff in this one, no doubt. Well, probably because there's a Zonks sticker on the box. Zonks. Like, hey, Scoob, check out this crazy box with all these That's wizards zonks. everywhere. We got some shoelaces. Those are huge shoelaces. I know. Those are like, do those even fit in a shoe? They're cool looking. So it's like the size of a lanyard yeah. ribbon, but it does have the ends for a shoelace. -E it says Zonkos. The color scheme. I'm, I, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Fruit stripe gum? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is curious. Um, <laughs> would you put these on a on a pair of shoes? No, because I never buy shoes with shoelaces. Because <laughs> <laughs> always come untied. <laughs> I'm better than you. Don't even have to tie my shoe. Oh. We could do a hand fastening ceremony. <laughs> they were in the movies when they were playing in their dorm room. And they tied. Oh, their... Why do people always tie right. their ties around their head like that? Yeah, they're weird. Yeah. <laughs> We have a heat changing mug. They don't do mugs very often. I think we've got one, maybe two from them before way yeah. in the past. Mugs are always a good item. I love practical items. But I don't like when, of course, if you do a bunch of boxes, then you end up with a lot of mugs. But I don't like getting mugs all the time because, I mean, I'm not Thor. This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! Ooh. Ronald Weasley, Hogwarts School. Uh-oh, it's a howler. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. Afraid to open Yeah, it. you've got that Weasley hair. You know, when we did wiz visit the Wizarding World, someone did say, oh, great, another Weasley." The here. conductor did. The conductor did. Whew. Okay, it didn't explode on me. But that's pretty cool. It's a like a patch. That's funny. The expression that's... on his face is yep. priceless. <gasps> Okay, you gotta read it off in uh, Mrs. Weasley's angry voice. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? If you put another toe out of line, we'll bring you straight home! I can't, there's a, the, the, <laughs> I don't have it memorized, so there's the strip in there. Something, something, your father now facing blah, blah, in the blah, blah, blah. It's, <laughs> it's like Homer's love note to Marge when he's drunk. <laughs> you got these big chewy pretzels here. Oh, you guys with your beer. Five dollars. Get out of here. Ooh. It's a flattened pygmy puff. Oh, it got squished. <laughs> it got squished. Oh, so it's Hagrid a little. Must have sat on this Hagrid box. did sit on this one. <laughs> so it's a little pygmy puff clutch. Nice. That's so cute. That is pretty I, adorable. I actually really like this because I've always thought the pygmy puffs are cute. I've always said if we ever make it back to the Wizarding World, I will adopt a pygmy puff this time. I'm a girl, I like my purses, but it's also kind of like a plushie. So it's like a plushie purse, because it's oh squishy. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> to 
too true. It is like a plushy purse. That's perfect for you, functional, and you love your plushies. I do. So that's excellent. That's, and that that's face great. really, really is adorable. I just feel bad that he's squished. Those big eyes. It's like I, I understand what they're going for, but it's like the pygmy puffs are already round anyway because they're a puff, so you could have just made a puff purse. <laughs> All right. Button time. Button we've, time. We've had this string of buildings going. Um, I can't remember all the buildings and businesses we've gotten, though. But I can't do either. know we still do not have a Gringotts. And I feel like that's a very iconic building. Do we... I'm going to go with Zonks. Zonkos, actually. You think Zonkos? I do. Tell but you what. Simply because the, it's what's in the box. I'll, I'll go with the Weasley one. Just because I feel like they would try to throw you off. <laughs> You were right. Ah, see? Mm. <laughs> I got your number, Wizarding World Loot Crate. Which is cool. I like this one, actually. I got a cool pin from the Wizarding World that was the Weasleys, and you take his hat off, and you can see his his uh, rabbit. I like the color scheme, too. Plus, this is another cool one for us, because uh, we've been there. We've been in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last in the box is a shirt. First off, I like the color. It's not a black shirt. It's a green shirt. We have the Marauders map. Oh, this and is it says done very Mistress, differently. Mischief managed. It's I actually really, really like this shirt. It's really cool because I would never have expected them to go with a green shirt like this. Because I have a a shirt that's kind of like this, but it's more in like a parchment color. Since you're loving that shirt so much, uh what I'm gonna do is I am going to safely and securely store our nerdlings away in your new uh, pygmy puff purse. Did while you put you check a, the this charm on it Hermione did to make it bigger on the yep, inside? Yep, don't worry, there's plenty of space, guys. All right, in you go. Ow. That'll be the books. Ah, see, no problem. You guys really did knock the books over. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so first of all, loving the color. Yes, I am too. You don't see a lot of green shirts to begin uh -huh. with. Also, not so much the lighter green with yeah. the, the darker green accenting it. You know, you might see uh, green with like another color to make everything pop, but yep. this works really well. It's a kind of a, a rougher fabric. It's not a nice soft cotton. It's a nice printing on there, so it's not too raised. Don't think it might you know stretch and get messed up too bad especially Good. since most of the printing is kind of in the smaller vein anyway so and i like that they just took a part of the map and they yeah. didn't try to fit the whole i'm just pleased as punch with the color it's a nice color i like green inside of the box do we have anything to go along with that zonko's theme a very cartoony version of <laughs> all of the house emblems. Yeah, that's that's a bright, Pink. vibrant color. Yeah, yeah. Umbridge would be pleased with that. I yes, yes, she would. And when you take a peek at your letter, make sure we got everything. Yes, indeedly, doodly, we did. So it looks like the color changing mug. According to this, it's showing different colors. So maybe it might be a mystery of what color mug you got. So that's how you got sorted is the house color, maybe. All right. So everything was there. The box was on time. How do you feel about the theme? Some of the things were pretty on par and some of them I'm not quite sure about. Button goes along with Button uh, goes along the with mischief. It. Obviously, the howler does because he broke the rules. Um, I'm not sure about the color changing mug unless it's breaking the rules by changing its design <laughs> but it's like because it's just the sorting hat so i'm not sure how that fits into it i'm also not really sure how the pygmy puff fits into it are these the ones that have been known to sing on boxing day they've been known to sing on boxing day you know so that spills into uh the quality then of the items i think they're pretty good i think they did a you know a decent job they obviously went for a smaller quantity of items in the box to give you maybe more of what they consider a higher quality item. The mug 
the purse, the shirt, you've got three very functional items. Mm -hmm. And generally these are sometimes the, the bigger items that you would see in a box amid everything else. The only thing that I have a problem with this is if you actually want to use the patch, it loses its, I feel like, coolness because all it is is literally just says Ronald Weasley and it's his face. So at this point, it's a nice kind of interactive display piece. Yes. Otherwise, you got to be a big time Ron fan. Where's my one one? Has he been asking for me? <laughs> so kind of, it seems like, feel right, like right in the middle. Right in the middle, yeah. yeah, right in the middle for quality and theme. Mm -hmm. uh, happy with the box though overall? Yes. And the stuff inside? Yeah. If this was your first one, would you do a second one? Probably not. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm liking it, but I, I I hate to say it, but I really kind of feel like they're running out of ideas and that they are kind of going downhill. Maybe Rowling needs to write some more books set in the wizarding world. I'm just yeah. saying it's a wizarding world. Yeah. Unfortunately, I guess because we don't have any movies coming out, they have nothing to go off of and, <laughs> and find fun things to give you. All right, well, at this point, nerdlings, please let us know what you think of any of the things in the box. Uh, share with us any of your Harry Potter fandom. Plushy hype. If you like the plushy <laughs> purse, <laughs> uh, what you would do with the big shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> and please leave those comments down below. Like, subscribe, notification bell, use your own little magic. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public, buy our merchandise on Tee Public. I compel you. Don't forget to hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we. I was gonna say we puff it, but that that sounds. We're not druggies. That sounds a little weird. <laughs> Let's well, not puff the magic dragon. Oh, okay. oh, this is getting wrong. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> Come here, sorting hat. See if you can sort this mug. <laughs> <laughs> I am also disgusted you're fat now, facing <laughs> query at woe. Well, it's all your f if you. Wow, what a mom way of saying that. Fans only. Only fans.